An Albuquerque police officer charged with using excessive force in an incident involving a disabled man. It happened at the Target on Coors in August of last year when a man buying a bike was dragged from the store by officers. Officer Kenneth Skeens has since been fired from APD. News 13's Natalie Wattis joins us with the video. Former APD officer Kenneth Skeens is now facing four charges, including false imprisonment and battery, after lapel video shows police pull the victim by his arms out of the store. On August 19, 2022, three Albuquerque Police Department officers approach a man at a self-checkout counter at the Target on Coors, struggling to check out. The Attorney General's office identifying the man as having disabilities. Hi, sir. I'll check, please. Go ahead and grab all your money. Let's walk out, okay? The man continues to try to check out as APD officer Kenneth Skeens tells him he's being detained. Just put your money down, okay? You're coming it, with us, okay? The man tries to explain. It took me a while. Take your money up. You're coming with us now, okay? It just took me a little while. Gotcha. You take too long. Go ahead and pick your money up. The man apologizing. I'm Take sorry. your money out. Coming, do you want to walk us to walk you out or do you want to walk yourself out? The police grabbing the bike the man seems to be purchasing. Can I please just okay. So we're going to grab the money for you then, okay? Skeens can be heard in the video telling the man he's going to be issued a criminal trespass that says he can't come back to the business anymore. The man still trying to explain. I was just getting my money out because I don't, I don't, I don't want to okay. lose it. So I, keep it, I keep it, it in your yeah, I keep it Put it up and let's walk out, okay? Let's go up the door. He starts to yell, I'm calling 911. Then police grab him. We're walking out. He struggles against the officers, falling to his knees at one point. They sit him down outside. He doesn't believe they're actually cops. You're not police. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are. No, you're not. You're security. Skeens asks him his name again, and when he doesn't give it, say, so just go ahead and put him in handcuffs because he's refused to identify himself. The man still trying to talk to 911 as he's put into handcuffs. They, they, they won't let me talk to you. The man still confused as he kneels in cuffs. See our badges? No. Remember when I told you I was with the police department? You no, have to identify I didn't see your car. badges. That's I, his car. You're on that's our uniform. Car. Okay, that's your own fault. So now you're going to be charged today with concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? That former officer you heard in the video was also one of three officers involved in the fatal shooting of Keyshawn Thomas at a gas station that same month in August of 2022. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Natalie. In May, APD told News 13 Skeens had been terminated for an incident unrelated to that shooting.